All right. What do you have for me, Yusuf? Praise the heavens. We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I just went around the corner. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. But the Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? No. I grew up using these. We don't have those in Italy. Hmm. Show me how it works. Yep, as I was right, there's still more tutorial stuff to do. The hook blade. Follow you, soup to learn how to use your new hook blade. Perform every hook blade move successfully at least once. Huh. Hook blade acquired. A new tool for this game. The extended reach maneuver. Alright. Ah, so that's how you can use it. Help climb faster. I'm all for that. Think of the hoop blade as an extension of yourself, Ezio. Hold circle in mid-air to extend your reach and grab to... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Epic fail. Of course. I jump exactly where he jumped, and what does Ezio do? He fails. Come on. Oh my gosh. Falls all the way to the ground. Unbelievable. <laughs> There we go. That's much better. Atta boy, Ezio. Oh, hello. What is that? An animus data fragment. Okay. Ooh, I like this. It's gonna make climbing so much easier. What? Oh my goodness. I guess I have to keep it held out. I have to keep holding down the circle button until he actually makes the grab. Wait, did he... Wait, did Yusuf fail that? I think he did. That's why we're going back up. Because he, fa he fell. Wow. The, a the computer character... You think I can ah! this one? He knocked he me off! <laughs> you guys saw that, right? He just knocked me off! Oh my gosh! He knocked me off the ledge! Unbelievable! To execute a long jump. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I see. This way. Okay. I get it. Aha, uh -huh. impressive moves. <laughs> ah, impressive moves. I can get later. Good thing I didn't go after the viewpoints. Now this, you know, before this, this is gonna make doing that much easier. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Ha! <laughs> Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. Really? Run towards the assassin and hold circle to perform a hook run. So I have to hold down both X and circle? Shahane. Yep. That's how it works. Alright, I pulled off the uh, optional objective. 
Do it again. Harika. So you just hold down both X and circle at the same time. That doesn't seem hard. Yusuf has more. What more do you have for me, man? And don't knock me off ledges anymore. Stop the that. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So Gee, you can use never would have figured that out. The other. An elegant design. <laughs> How about a bigger challenge? Hmm? Va bene. Let's go. <laughs> Please. I've I've climbed taller than this. Ezio is now the proud owner of an Ottoman hook blade and needs a bit of training to master it. Training Yusuf is more than happy to provide. Climb the tower in under 60 seconds. Having fun? <laughs> there we go. So it's like the 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 grab move from the previous That's right. Games. Let the hook blade do the work. So just hook and then hook. There we go. Ish the boile. Throw yourself into it. There we go. Oh, do I have to follow him, or can I just go my own way? No, I guess I gotta follow him. Go. Ah, uh, I just missed it, but oh well. Welcome to Constantine. Doesn't matter. It's you. Crossroads of the world. Now this is a view. Many generations of men have ruled the city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. Huh. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Race you to the bottom. IL3 is a synchronized button. Alright, one of twenty-two. Leap of faith! I am impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Mm -hmm. Just give credit where it is due. <laughs> Yusuf, Chabuk Puri again! Uh -huh. An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. <laughs> Good man. Advanced tactics. Word has reached Yusuf that the Templars are attacking two separate assassin dens. Follow Yusuf while he conceives a plan. Perform a zipline assassination. Oh boy. Follow Yusuf over the ziplines. Words cannot express my wonder. When he tires of running, an assassin must take to the air. Watch. Huh. Whee! The wires are sent to suck and kill you, and you best break their find kill them before they kill you. Good to know. Ah! Oh! Come on, Ezio. Again, he doesn't do what I tell him, what I want him to do. He just does his own thing. There we go. Ah. A Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. <laughs> Assassin! Help! Now he wants me to do it. And... 
and assassinate. Yeah! I like it. Hold on, let me loot these guys. And then I'll join you. Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? Mm -hmm. See, the Galata Den. Evet, I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hide it, Astale. Same to you. Well, I can. It looks like it's another viewpoint, so that's fine with me. Go to the <coughs> assassin den. <laughs> May as well use the zip line, right? Oh, 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 that was awesome! All right. Hello. I uh huh. There's the viewpoint. Unebuke, Sheriff Fusta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. Alright, on the defense. The Templars are preparing to attack the Galata Assassin Den. Lead your fellow assassins in its defense. <sighs> okay, so here is where we enter another extra gameplay feature they added for this game. And I think this is one of the reasons why a lot of people did not like this game. I mean, and it is my least favorite aspect about this particular game. Fortunately, it, I, if I recall, they kept it to just this game. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a feature I'm not really too fond of. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Templars have launched an attack on one of your dens. The den and its surrounding area are now contested. Go to your den and defend it and repel the attackers. So it's like a, so it's a basically a, like a tower defense mini game. And it's not really that great or that fun. It's kind of a kind of uh, a chore or annoying. It's not really fun. You'll see what I mean. If I recall this first one cuz it's the first one you encounter is kind of easy but Move the cursor, move the camera, zoom. All right. Defending units cannot be placed until a rooftop has been unlocked by the leader. Yada, yada, yada. Place the leader by moving your cursor to a locked rooftop. Make your stand there. Units cost morale. Morale is earned by killing enemies and generated by leaves over time. A crossbowman. There we go. Defend that area. Place two crossbowmen by moving your cursor. Hold there. There we go. And you can see the little thing there. It shows when Make they're, your stand there. Where they're coming. Make your stand there. See, I don't have enough morale. It's a system that makes you go, wait, what? Make your stand there. 10 morale per unit, but... Barricades can be placed in the street to slow the Templars' advance. Bring up the wheel. Install a barricade. Costs 10 morale. To stall the Templars' advance. Nope, I need more morale. There we go. Place the barricade there. Whoa, what was that that flew in my face? Whoa, what is that? You guys see that, right? It's like a bug or something. Ah, assassin leader generates morale and influence units within their radius. So there's a leader over here. Let me place another leader, like, once I get to 10. There we go. There we go. I'll place a leader right there. 
So I have a leader on each side, so that should help me generate even more morale. I already did that. So apparently I may have done that a little too soon, but there are the rooftops here for like very nearby. Make your stand there. Ah, riflemen. Very high damage, but slow firing rate, deadly even against armored targets. They cost 15 morale. Make your stand There's there. two riflemen. Make your stand there. One right here. There we go. And then defend that area. Another one over there. So we got several crossbowmen and a few riflemen, along with leaders on each rooftop to help, you know, help with that. Try to install another barricade, because then they send more armored units and it becomes more difficult each time. There we go another barricade there. Fortunately, the, the more they kill, as you can see, the morale keeps going up and up and up. Another barricade there. You can actually sell barricades, but... Alright, another rifleman. Let's put him, like, right here. I need you to hold that point. In fact, let's see if I can get another crossbowman in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, cannons. Over the Templar group and press L1 to fire a cannon shot or hold, then release L1 for cannon salvo at their location. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Strike there. Boom! Ho 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 ho! Boom! Oh my goodness! More Templars are on their way to halt their advance, place riflemen on the rooftops and barricades in the streets. So then it becomes, yeah, like like you have to constantly be putting more stuff there. Apparently you can't put stuff there. Put a barricade there for some reason, but that's okay. So if I wanted, I could put more leaders to get more rooftops, like over Hold here. Hold that point for me. Because I've already gotten these roof, some of these rooftops here. So I think I have a leader now on every rooftop. So now I just need more crossbowmen and riflemen. Sure that point. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Sure that point. Defend that area. There we go. Getting tons of guys here. <laughs> I have so many crossbowmen and riflemen now on this first, uh, you know, first one here. They just have no shot of getting through. I can even put them, like, Hold right there. there. Can I even put a crossbowman, like, right there? I can. Make your stand there. You can put it behind each barricade. Uh-oh, here we go. And now, of course, it steps it up in terms of the difficulty by their bringing one of these kind of things here. Make your stand there. There we go. Fire attack. There. There we go. We destroyed that. So let me put another barricade back up. And it looks like we won. I mean, it. I guess it's okay, but it's really not necessarily that fun. It just, it, you know, it's almost like a task instead of a, a fun thing to do. You guys know what I mean, right? I mean, I don't hate it, but it's just... It's not really that great. It's, it's it's my least favorite thing about the game, but, I mean, that's not saying much, because, unlike other people, I actually like this entry in the series. New unit, Air Assassins. 
It's somewhat cool, but it's really not. It's not necessarily something I want to be doing all the time. It is nice, though, to see a bunch of assassins, like an army, like as if I have an army of assassins, which is like so out of place considering what we've been seeing lately, how it's usually been the army on the side of the Templars Send word to the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar then. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. All right. So this is what I've unlocked so far with my map here. An empty faction building. There's the memory. So I guess there's a, a gap here of water. I mean, there's a viewpoint literally right here. I could just go ahead and try and grab this real quick. It's right there. And I want to get it. Revenue deposit made. I'm earning money. Synchronize. Two of twenty two. Map updated. Not really sure what exactly it updated. So here's our assassin den. There's a blacksmith literally right here. Can I go ahead and actually get the blacksmith now? Whoops. I keep pressing R1. I'm so used to R1 being the button and that they change it to R2 for this uh, collection is, you know, like I said, it's going to take a little getting used to. Not enough money. Oh, I'm, I am five off. Look at that. I just need five more. Ugh. Well, thank you. Thank you for contributing to this renovation. Increase your income. Visit a bank to receive it. But of course, I'm going to need to renovate the bank as well. Two of 15 blacksmiths shops renovated. Don't need to repair anything. Weapons! A war hammer, a sham shear, a bearded axe. Sounds like something Gimli would own. Aye, my bearded axe! Small weapon. Ooh, that's a better dagger. Obviously, I don't have any more money, though. A crossbow. That'd be nice to get back again. 18,000, though. Woo! Gonna have to wait on that. Ammunition. I'm fine on that. Ingredients for bomb crafting. Perhaps yes, perhaps another time. Let's see here. So as you can see, there's also other landmarks. The Galata Tower is a landmark I can get and renovate. There is a bank over here. I could go over there to try and pull out some income. There's also a bookshop over here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mark this viewpoint, and I'm going to try and visit those on the way. Doctor here that I can't unlock yet. That's fine. And don't worry, this is stuff that I would do off camera. I'm not going to force you guys, you know, record, uh, you know, having you guys watch me go around and unlock shops and do all the open world stuff. That's kind of boring. What in God's name but helps in terms of how much money you get. And it also helps contribute to other things as well. Am I going in the right direction? Mm, not, uh, somewhat. Oh, hold on. I just ran past some loot. There we go. 
A bunch of sulfur, huh? Huh, <laughs> it's back up here, isn't it? Yup. It's yo, I told you to jump this way, not up the wall. Here we go. Hello, banker. Withdraw money. There we go. Thirteen hundred. Concluded. Grazie. Ah, uh, the bookshop. Where is it? I guess it's on the other side here. Yeah, here we go. So what is... What's the point of getting these books in the bookshop? Hmm. Ooh, treasure maps. Hold on, what does the database say about bookshops? I wonder if the more books you get, the more value you get uh, in the income. I wonder if that's a thing. I'll have to remind myself. Maybe possibly look it up. Oh, hi, thieves. I don't need you guys yet. I'll probably need you guys later. Just stick around. There we go. I like this hook blade. Anything that can help me with my climbing, I instantly like. There we go. Don't have to go all the way around. I can just hook blade up. That's great. Alright, another viewpoint. So you can even see there, there's a big gap of water there in between this section and the section over there. It looks like that's where the main palace is. That's probably where the Sultan and the royal family here uh, live, you know, live over, in, over there. So our den is way over here, whereas that's the main Plaza Bazaar area, which is, I guess, is probably where the main Templar area is. That kind of makes sense. We'd want to keep our headquarters far away from that. So there's another viewpoint over here. I can go ahead and grab that. Now, obviously, you know, having to get the income in order to renovate the shops and things like that. Like I said, that's stuff I can do on my own. That's stuff you do once you are able to get enough money. And I guess when we come back, we will be doing the next memory. That takes us to, I'm guessing, this side over here. So stay tuned.